apparently the uh venezuelan government intercepted 13 american terrorists i like that they put the uh terrorists in f uh quotes here the new york times did uh these guys are terrorists like just because they're american citizens and ex-military does not change the reality that they would not be considered terrorists by the venezuelan government they would be they absolutely would be uh it's the same kind of designation that a state applies to someone who is disrupting their um you know their their political process they were literally invading uh venezuela uh silver corp was invading venezuela to to uh do a coup d'etat uh, and allegedly they were paid by uh guaido um eight people died i think right as a consequence of that or, or they were caught by uh fishermen in venezuela let's just take a look at the uh let's just take a look at the details because it is absolutely hilarious uh this is a company called silver core usa which i found the instagram of uh so these are the chuds hey baby here in venezuela waiting for you all this training just to get captured by a venezuelan fisherman lmao training for running away from venezuelan fishermen President Nicolas Maduro of Venezuela said on Monday that two United States citizens were among 13 terrorists. Ter terrorists in air quotes. I love the New York Times. They cannot get themselves the f***ing. That's so great. That's so great. Just reverse, do a role reversal, brother. 13 Muslims get caught by American fishermen as they try to, with the stated goal of like trying to kill Donald Trump. What the fuck would you consider that? What would the New York Times call those guys? You think the New York Times would put air quotes around terrorists in that circumstance? Um, two United States citizens were among 13 terrorists captured by the authorities in connection with what officials have called a failed plot to invade the country and topple his government. Reuters reported that in a state television address, Mr. Maduro showed what he said were the passports and other identification cards of Arian Barry, Luke Denman, whom he described as employees of Silver Corp, a Florida-based security company whose owner has claimed responsibility for the failed incursion on Sunday. Eight men were killed and two captured in the foiled coup attempt, which officials attributed to Colombia and the United States. So the interior minister said that the group were mercenary terrorists had come from Colombia by speedboat intending to overthrow the government, but that it was stopped at the port of La Guaria near Caracas. Retired American Green Beret Jordan Goudreau and a retired Venezuelan Army Captain Javier Nito uh, claimed responsibility for the attack. In a video posted on social media, the two men said that Operation Gideon had been successfully launched deep into the heart of Caracas and other armed cells had been activated throughout the country. It is obvious that the electoral measures, the democratic and political ones of all kinds, have been exhausted, Captain Nito said in the video, defending the decision to try to topple the Venezuelan government with arms. There was no evidence of fighting in Caracas or elsewhere in the country, but Venezuela's defense minister, Vladimir Padrino Lopez, announced a sweep operation in the capital shortly after authorities said they repulsed the raid. So here's a fun thing that uh, they uh, gifted to the Maduro administration. When you very openly fail at executing a coup d'etat and then claim that there are sleeper cells in the country, you won thousand percent have allowed uh maduro to do whatever he wants he could just declare martial law if he wants to if he hasn't already he can now he can now just go in and execute political opponents if he wants to claim that they're terrorists i know this from personal experience in turkey if you do a coup d'etat and you get these dipshits these dipshits strike first incursion into Venezuela, 60 Venezuelan two American ex Green Beret at real Donald Trump. The kinds of people that literally tweet at Donald Trump before they do a coup d'etat. You have now opened yourself up to such a gigantic failure and, and such tremendous embarrassment that beyond the embarrassment and the murders, uh, not murders, but like deaths uh, during this process, you have now given Maduro a, a a key to the castle, I guess, that he already had, but serious justification for doing whatever the f he wants now. What is going on? Like, even, even our security apparatus, our intelligence community, like, even that part is dying of the empire. It's kind of crazy. This is why they were caught. Yeah, they were caught because they were f betas, dude, okay? They were caught because they were freaking betas. Look at that, look at that beta stance versus the Chad Venezuelan uh, army. Beta Green Beret 
with the the pose the beta pose is is the structural integrity of his spine is is too beta he's leaning in versus the chad uh versus the actual alpha pose look at him not even leaning into the guy <laughs> so dumb don't do this so dumb i i just god what a funny story what a what a hilarious story let's just keep going the vice president of venezuela's governing party uh diosdado cabello who like mr reverol has been linked by the united states to a drug conspiracy <laughs> said the plot thwarted on sunday had been organized by cleaver alcaya a dissident retired venezuelan general who recently surrendered to united states law enforcement and face to face drug charges um cool before being taken into custody, General Akaya said in March from his exile in Colombia that he was organizing a military incursion into neighboring Venezuela to overthrow Mr. Maduro. Here are the weapons captured. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's uh, items collected from the eight mercenaries. Un uniforme de sequea. Todavía está mojado. La chapa. Si me traes los lentes, por favor. Aquí tienen las chapas de varios de los terroristas. Maduro himself Está reading atacando. it one by one. <laughs> Con su permiso. What happened? What happened to Correct. the might Quita of the, the U.S. military and security apparatus? Docs by the third world? Dude, they killed them. What do you mean? And the ones that are still alive are probably going to get owned as well. Like... Not only do they kill most of them, there's no doxing after that point. They're done. Bro, imagine telegraphing this. What are covert operations, dude? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, hola, hola. We're out here doing uh, a lost coup d'etat attempt. We are uh, not Americanos. We are actually here to do not a coup d'etat attempt. Hola, mi paisano. Donde esta la Venezuela Madura? Donde esta la Venezuela? Uh, Venezuela Imperator uh, Madura. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. This is f hilarious. What the f are we doing? <laughs> It's so f***ing bad, dude. <laughs> what? And by the way, for those of you who would be like, oh my God, Hassan, you're so un-American. You're so un-American. It's like, if f***ing Venezuelans tried to do the same shit, if like 13 Venezuelan sleeper cells were trying to infiltrate the U.S. government in this horrifically, catastrophically awful fashion, I would laugh at them too. They get f***ing owned as well. Still a chance this is a false flag and a cell is waiting to activate. Keep waiting, brothers. Americans grow so weak they don't understand they get killed for invading and trying to overthrow countries. Oh my God, dude. Oh my Lord. Oh, they, they have video of them being captured too. Holy shit. I like that he at least, they all had their COVID uh, masks at least. I heard that the, uh, that they were actually being underpaid and that uh, they had to like live in shitty conditions while they were uh, trying to put together this operation. And the operation was put in, put with a shoestring, shoestring budget. It's possibly why they got owned by fishermen who caught them. Um, but I'm glad that they at least still had uh, face masks. So that's cool. Allegedly, those guys were paid a 50K advance for a $200 million contract. Yeah, the. Uh, the alleged number the alleged number for the contract was 292 million i think not even 200 million and uh they only got 50k advances from uh Gu guido okay here's the photo how hollywood makes me look how venezuelan fishermen make me look what are you doing dude how many pesos para casa maduro amigo we're getting reports that the fishermen were actually uh tactically put there uh, their defenses are too powerful. The local uh, Chavista fishermen are actually, they were too powerful. So it's actually not embarrassing that this happened uh, and that the, uh, the fishermen were, were just uh, too strong. Vietnamese farmers, uh, Venezuelan fishermen, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens with like Iranian uh, goat herders next. I guess technically the fishermen did have the heads up because they did tweet at Donald Trump that they were doing this. Even if you're Venezuelan and you hate Maduro, it's completely unacceptable that like 
the United States government or anyone associated with the United States government or the United States government's own personal puppet shouldn't be able to just throw a, a shoestring budget a coup d'etat attempt together. That is like violating the autonomy and violating numerous rights that we put in place. Like you, you just can't do that. The US government is really stupid for doing this. It'll make Venezuelans support Maduro more. I know. Yeah. If only we had a direct example of the US government doing that to another country, galvanizing the base of support for another authoritarian leader. I doubt this was. For the record, when I say like US government involvement in this circumstance, only because they're ex-military chuds, I don't think they're actually involved with the CIA or I mean, I'm sure that there there was no how um, there was actually I don't even think the CIA would f approve of an operation li uh, like this because it was so f scuffed. I mean, they were most likely paid off by uh, Guaido, or at least that's what they're saying, and that Guaido is the puppet in that circumstance. Like you don't f tweet at Donald Trump that you're doing a super secret coup attempt on foreign soil, dude. Y you don't do that. Unless you are a f total, I play paintball on the weekend, so I know how, what to do tactically, a dipshit. Dude, that's, those are airsoft masks. I have one of those. Oh my God, those are literally airsoft masks. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Boys, I'm ready to invade Venezuela. Oh my God. They f got airsoft masks. I have the exact same one. <laughs> oh no oh no 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 venezuelan fbi open up you can't make this shit up it's so good that's an airsoft gun isn't it that's not a real gun yeah i took a day off to go down to venezuela thank god i actually didn't go through with it brothers this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, this is literally the dumbest This is the dumbest story. This is the dumbest thing on the planet. It's remarkable how dumb this is.